Hello everyone, this is the 14th part of the course Operating System in which we use C language and the environment we are working on is Linux. This is going to be the last part of this series and today we will be covering the most important and a little bit tough topic which is interfaces communication. So before starting this topic, we have to revise the pointers. Let's briefly look at pointers. So let's say you have a variable A. So in the RAM, this is your RAM, it will be allocated some space A. And then let's say you want to store the address of this variable A in another variable. So pointers are variables that stores the address of another variable. So to declare a pointer, what I will write is in static. And let's say we name this pointer P. So I'll write static P. This will allocate some space to this variable. In the RAM. Now, when I want to initialize this variable P, what I will do is I will use the address operator, so address of A. So, when this line here is executed, this variable P will start pointing towards the variable A and it will uh, store the whatever will be the variable, of, uh, whatever, whatever will be the address of A will be stored in here. So, let's say the address of A is 101, so 101 will be stored here. Also, uh, one more important thing is whenever you want to store the address of a variable in the pointer, the data type of both the variable and the pointer must be same. So the data type of the variable and the pointer should always be same. So keep that in mind. Also, you should also know a few things. One is what is offset notation. So you should know about an offset notation. This is important for and this topic that we are covering today and you should also know uh, function call by pointer and you should also know uh, passing an uh, array as a pointer so using an array or passing an array to a function as a pointer you should know extra, at least these three topics about pointers and if you have forgotten them, uh, I'll write the link of the uh, video in the description. Do watch that, it's about pointers. So please watch that before you continue forward. Because in this topic, we will be using pointers a lot and you should be familiar by these concepts before moving forward. So do that and then continue forward. Okay, so the topic today is interfaces communication and by this topic we mean that two or more processes will communicate with each other using a shared memory segment. So we will have a shared memory segment and we will have uh, two or more processes that will use this memory segment to uh, communicate with each other. So this illustration is better. This is our shared memory and we will have one, uh, two or more than two processes. And what they will do is maybe one will write in the memory and the other will read from. So that's how we will communicate. Uh, that's how the processes will communicate using a shared memory. Let's see how we do that. Um, uh, while implementing the concept of interface communication, there are two types of processes. One is server and the others are fine. So uh, when you are implementing Oh, there always will be one server process and one or more client process. So there can be many client processes, but there is always one server and many, let's say, n number of client processes. Now, what is a server and what is the, What's the difference between both? Server process is that process which actually creates the shared memory. So the process which creates the shared memory is the server process and the other processes which just use that shared memory or client process. So this is the main difference between both of them. So server process creates or asks for shared memory using a key. By asks, I mean the server will ask the operating system to give it some memory. We mean that for this. So server process will create a shared memory using some key and other processes which are client processes will use that shared memory using that same key. Now, what is the purpose of key here? So imagine you are playing a game and let's say it has in the game there is some, some cry here in some chest 
and you need a key to open that chest. So whoever has the key can open it. So in a similar way, whoever, whichever process has the key or you can say the password can access that shared memory. So that shared memory is you can say locked. No one can access it without having the key. 